Ryan for Birdman on the Mountain here at the Village 8 for the White Mountain Film Festival. I've got with me now Rico. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And he just jumped in the chair, so I don't actually even know. I think he's a filmmaker. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, what, what film? Do you have a film here? Yes, I have a film, a short film titled Perfect People. Okay. And it's a story of a young couple on the verge of divorce who are saved, uh, who meet a... No, let me start over. Okay. <laughs> on the verge of divorce. Uh, yes, a young couple on the verge of divorce who meet an older man who saves them from a storm, both literally and figuratively. Nice. Okay, cool. But it's not like the uh, the indecent proposal kind of deal. No. Right? Okay, no, good. <laughs> no, I did. I didn't see the film yet, so I'll look for it. Uh, yes. Hopefully it's in the next set of blocks or things like that. I think it's playing um, tomorrow. So uh, where are you from? Well, I'm uh, uh, from Southern California. I do most of my work out of uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I actually live in a town called Temecula, California. I know where Temecula is. I think a drive through it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, how many times have you been to the White Mountains? This is my very first time. I've been to Arizona before. I think I've driven through this area. I've been at Phoenix once. But this is the first time I've been up here. So we it think. is absolutely lovely. Yeah? What absolutely. You, so give us a, your take on give us your take on the area so far. Sure. I mean, uh, well, I, I can say that I made the drive here from um, – you know, Southern California, mm -hmm. but I spent the night in Phoenix, and just that drive was just fantastic. I saw these red mountains. I mean, the drive took longer because it was a couple of times I just had to stop and mm -hmm. take some video. And then when I came out here, I mean, it was just so different because I see all these red cat mountains, and then I see these woods over here, and I was just like, wow, such a dichotomy between both of those areas and the people out here are absolutely incredibly uh, friendly. And the other thing is uh, I love that this town is like really excited to have a film festival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost feel like a celebrity and I know I'm not. Well, sure you are. <laughs> absolutely. Um, film festivals. Talk yes. to me about what they mean to you uh, yes. as a filmmaker and uh, for what you want or aspirations. Mm -hmm. Well, I, the one thing that I love about festivals, first and foremost, is the opportunity to network. I've met uh, so many wonderful people throughout the, all the festivals that I've been to uh, and collaborated with quite a few people and have even had done follow-on projects with uh, other people. But specifically, what I really love about this festival is uh, Martina said that she wanted, her goal was to make us filmmakers feel like we were being spoiled. And I truly do. I mean, the... Uh, 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 the classes and the seminars that she's had here have been absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't think I've paid for one meal since I've been Oh, good. Here. Awesome. I want you to enjoy yourself and go tell other people to come on up and oh, hang out. Oh, absolutely. Um, what, do you, what do you think, uh, as far as for filmmaking in this area, do you think it would be a good area? Oh, yes. I think it's an awesome area to come out here and film because, uh, one, I can tell that, uh, uh, one, there's a lot of uh, opportunities to film. I mean, we were just at... I mean, just driving around, and where I'm at in Southern California, there's so many things that I see every single day, uh, but when I come out here, I see something different. You know, like uh, the bar that uh, for the opening night party, mm -hmm. I could see that as an opportunity to have a place to film. That was at the lodge. Um, yeah. The sure. architecture is so different, the woods, and then not too far away, you could drive. Uh, and probably get a desert scene or maybe some type of red rock scene and uh, just so many opportunities. And what I love about it is, again, uh, going back to the people, is that they're excited. Some places you go to, like in the L.A. area, it's not necessarily that they're not excited, but it's just very difficult. The people are a little bit jaded because they've had film come through them several times and it's so much better out here because no, people are so excited. I can tell you what it is. Yes. I know exactly what it is. You yes. ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to give you the epiphany. It's traffic lights. <laughs> really? The less traffic lights you have, the easier your life is. Oh, yes. <laughs> then I would totally agree with so that. So you could count the number of traffic lights we have up here. But that's Still. a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and not within a block. So awesome. Uh, Rico, hey, I really appreciate your time Thank today. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for coming up here. Thank Glad you. we had a film festival you could come and attend. Absolutely. And uh, we'll hopefully see you again soon. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. And Birdman, uh, reminding you that uh, this film festival is planned again for next year. So if you missed it, it's uh, coming back again. And maybe we'll see some more of these filmmakers. Check out the other episodes and uh, check out Birdman on the mountain. And I remind you, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web. Thank you.